how else about I was popping was cracking it's D-Boss here X this vids titled Ruby Rose broke up Haley Bailey and DDG Cardi B caught lying about divorce after Granny's birthday lord all right let me see what's going on with these people let's watch okay you guys so a few days ago DDG announced that he and Holly Bailey have called it quits these two are no longer together. Now, there were rumors and speculation going around that maybe Holly Bailey was the one that cheated, but now it's being alleged that DDG was the one who messed up the relationship because he allegedly got caught cheating with his ex, Ruby Rose. Now again, DDG was the one who announced the breakup. He posted it on his IG stories, but Holly Bailey has been very quiet. But this is how fans are responding to the allegations that DDG cheated with Ruby Rose. Holly deserves better. She's a rich mama with a lot of love and family. Ruby can about. have him. It is he who gonna realize he messed up. Thank God he was horrible for her, but perfect for Ruby. Only because DDG don't do good girls. I told y'all days ago about DDG and Holly Bailey. DDG will hopefully now move on with Ruby Rose. Y'all really dragged Ruby Holly. Rose for Holly Bailey when Ruby knew what it was from the jump. Now, Academic spoke on this and he actually to. took up for DDG. Now, he said that these two have been broken up for a while. And the reason that he had to post that they were over and done is because he couldn't do anything without getting scrutiny from Holly Bailey's fans. So he wanted to get rid of all of that. Take a listen. Y'all want me to tell y'all the real and honest man. And I did speak to DDG, but I got, I, I knew most of this stuff. I, I went to him with information because I knew, I knew a couple things. But I ain't saying because DDG my man. But I did confirm with him yesterday. It is, in fact, over between DDG and Holly Bailey. There is no prank. What I haven't known is that they've been separated for a while. I'm this is fact. I'm telling you this is fact. They've been separated for a while. You just didn't know. A lot of people yeah. They're usually pretty quiet. They keep their business to themselves. I don't know what other people. But she, you know, she's, you know, she's living her life. She's around. She's having fun. Hanging around celebrities. This video is a picture story. I won't even go Because they own DDG, well, motherfucking thing, because the whole perception of the whole internet is that they're still together. So you know why DDG has to post this shit? To let everybody know, if eventually you see me take a picture with another woman, even if I have no interest in her, I'm, single. I'm not cheating on this woman that y'all love so much. Now this makes me- I mean, that does make sense. And I feel like people are always like, why are these celebrities announcing when they're broken up with someone? Like, why are you putting us in, in your business? It's like, first off, y'all already in their business. <laughs> you know, let's be clear. And they're very public, you know, figures. So if they are caught out like eating dinner or something with someone else, it would be way worse because people would assume, oh, look, DDG's on a date with another woman. He cheating. Oh, you piece of shit. The internet would go crazy. So you have to post, like, actually, I'm single. Just letting y'all know. So in the future, he's seen with a woman. It's like, okay, well, he's single. You know, people still going to talk shit. <laughs> but it's like, all right, they're not going to demonize him. Wonder if this alleged cheating did happen between DDG and Ruby Rose. How long ago did this occur? Because academics said that these two have been broken up for a while. Now that means a long time. I don't know exactly how long, but when somebody says a while, it's been a minute. That can be a month. And it makes me think back to the videos that DDG has with Halo. Now, when Halo was younger, you did sometimes see Holly in the videos. But it's I remember I reacted to a video a while ago that, you know, she moved out their house or something or <laughs> they no longer live together. And yeah, I, re I remember that. That was like maybe a couple months ago, maybe a few months ago. So they probably have been broken up since then. That that little tip, but that people speculated that that happened. Some of this shit be, be true. And people are so quick to be like, oh, these blogs and stuff, they always lying, they always making shit up. Sometimes. <laughs> But a lot of times, shit ends up coming out and they were right. And th there was truth to what was being said. So, you know, obviously don't believe every single thing. But don't al don't always think that, oh, they're lying or, oh, this is made up. But I'm not going to believe it until it's confirmed. And it's like, sure. <laughs> you can, you know, definitely believe it when they confirm it. But, you know, just be open to, hmm, this might be, might be the case. Instead of writing off like, oh, this is a lie. Like, not always. I went on, you really never see her in these videos. She's nowhere around. It's pretty much DDG, Halo, and DDG's family. Now, y'all let me know, what do y'all think about this? Do you think that DDG allegedly cheating with Ruby Rose Where did get was Holly Bailey's last straw? What do you think was really going on? It could let me be, know but what I, I just don't know where they get below. But moving on to the next story.
Okay, you guys, so ever since Cardi B has announced that she and Offset are getting a divorce, when I tell you, the fans have been on her left and right, okay? Now, people yeah. have been really speculating and trying to figure out if she's really mm -hmm. going to leave Offset for mm -hmm. real this time. Now, the other day, he was on IG Live, so and people noticed that theater. he was still in the home. Now, she took time to explain that basically... The divorce isn't easy that when he's at the house, she's not there, or when she's there, he's not there. So they still keep themselves separate, even though they are in the same house. <sighs> but she said, make no mistake, yeah, this is over and done, everything is dead. But now fans are like, girl, are you playing in our face? Because yesterday, Cardi's grandma turned 86 years old. Now, can we she's give so Granny cute. some props? Because she is 86 and she still Word. has it going on. I know that's right, Granny. So the family got together to celebrate her birthday. Okay. And fans noticed that Offset was there too. And it made them really question if these two are really getting a divorce. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. They've been married for how many years? He's like a part of the family. He's real cool with a lot of these people. She probably like, I want Offset there. Fuck what y'all got going on. I like him. <laughs> That's adorable. She clearly loved that man. Listen, after my after my parents divorced, my family didn't give a fuck. They they love my daddy, and they still to this day call him uncle. And they have been well. My mom, she's she passed, but they were divorced like for for the longest. And everybody in my family still love the fuck out of my daddy. My daddy's cool as fuck. So yeah, they love him, and they kept inviting him to shit. But also, my mom and dad were super cool as well. So they just had a really solid friendship um, even after the divorce. But yeah, it's like just because the relationship is over, it doesn't mean that everybody else in the family is going to hate them. If they have a good relationship with them, they might still be like, mm, we, we still like him. We want him to still come around and still, you know, call him family. So... That doesn't people mean didn't anything. like it, and this is how. But they she responded. could be on some bullshit. Who this knows? This is not how people who fit to get a divorce act. Told y'all them publicity stunts for the album. This couple craves attention. Him being at the know. family event for her grandma doesn't mean they pull in stunts. It could also be they've been together for years and have kids together. They all family even after a break. Hello, especially when it was a marriage <laughs> that went on for years, several years. Like that's just not an easy bond to just break and you know especially if the uh especially if he i mean he cheated on her so you could say oh he's a piece of shit but you know he probably ain't never put his hands on her or anything like that or anything to the point where they're like oh we hate him it's like yeah you cheated that's fucked up you didn't respect your relationship but <laughs> you know like we still we still fuck with you like you know you didn't actually do anything that was unforgivable you know, to us, if that makes sense. Do they realize the next time they do their little? Of course, she is unforgivable. Well, apparently, not. I'm about to say it's unforgivable for Cardi, but apparently, it's not unforgivable for her because she got back with him multiple times. That's probably another reason why they're not really taking it seriously because she hasn't even taken it seriously. Can up routine. Nobody's but gonna she, believe them. They Instead, they're gonna get dragged. Oh well. I never cared about this whole situation. I stopped caring about Cardi and her cheater when she was crying on IG about Offset cheated. But what do you guys think? Number one, this is the question for me. If your wife cheated with an NFL player while she was pregnant with your child, could you be comfortable enough with the situation to continue to be around her family? And number two, do you guys think that they're just being cordial because they have kids together and they're going to have to deal with each other the rest of their lives? Do you think they have forgiven each other? Do you think they're even going to really divorce? Y'all let me know what you think in the comments, but that's all I have for you, and I'll talk to you later. I just saw your baby father in your studio. Uh, he was at your studio, so is it this, is it that? I think I need to understand. Like, I think I need to understand. We do have two cribs. 
One is in Atlanta, one is here. But we've been living with each other for years now. We've been living with each other for years. The Atlanta house, there's no clothes, there's no nothing. Only one person lived there. Only one person lived there. Everything is here. The whole, everything, the adjustments, everything is here. Slowly but surely, everybody got to go their separate ways. Slowly but surely, my kids got to get used to that. No, you're not going to come home every single day and your your dad is not going to, it's going to be here. Slowly but surely, it's kind of hard. I I don't even want to talk about it because I don't want to get emotional, but it's kind of hard when like, okay, as an adult, you you're gonna get used to a, a certain type uh, a certain type of lifestyle without being with somebody, but it's also kind of hard for your kids to get used to that. So it's like slowly but surely we're gonna. That, good. that has to happen. Your dad is not gonna be here every day with you after school. Your dad is not gonna be picking you up after school. I want my baby to know who their dad is because I don't ever want my little baby to like get used to like my dad or get used to like my, my, my cousin. I want them to be like this, your dad, but slowly but surely everything just has to stop. One thing I don't want to entertain is, uh, Oh, we're in the same crib. Come upstairs and sleep together. I don't want to entertain that. I don't want to sleep. I don't want to, I don't want nothing because that's what keep us being in the same trap and the same trap and it's like oh we sleep together we cuddling the next day we're smiling and then guess what the same day we're arguing and then we're back in in that we're back in back in that cycle i don't want that cycle that's why i don't even i'm not entertaining love i'm not entertaining the kissing i'm not entertaining like hey hey come upstairs oh this and that no that's why if a motherfucker's here i'm not here if i'm, if, if I'm here he's not here but slowly but surely it's gonna be a, a whole end to it but it's weird it's, it's not weird. It's just like it takes time, and I don't even under, I don't I don't know how to explain it. But everything is dead. Um, I understand what what she's saying. I mean, she could possibly still be on some bullshit though. I don't know what's going on with this lady life. Maybe this all is fake. Maybe they are going to end up getting back together. Maybe they never actually broke up. Who knows? I don't know these people. But the concept that she's referencing is is very typical. The fact that Offset was at the the granny B day very typical considering their history so there's that um as far as ruby rose being the one who broke up ddg and uh hallie uh, <laughs> i have to really think about it when i'm saying her name because that's i think that's how you say it i do wonder if that's the case because i do remember a while ago she was tweeting some shady shit and like posting some pictures and kind of implying that he was still fucking with her y'all remember that so she kind of came out and kind of exposed him a while ago that he was cheating on um on his chick with her. So there's that. So maybe, you know, that, that actually was taking place. Who knows? I guess we'll find out with time. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!